alternative you need that we've been looking for. So what got me thinking about this the first vaccine, right? The word vaccine oh. comes from a virus called vaccinia. Vaccinia oh. is cowpox. Right, so oh, the thing, you know, eighteen whatever uh, <laughs> in the nineteen hundreds, they were <laughs> the people got small pox, and about thirty percent of people died. So it was a major big deal. Um, they noticed that that milkmaids never got smallpox, and when they looked into why, it's because they got a similar disease called cowpox that that caused uh, little skin lesions, little little uh, blisters, but didn't uh, cause serious illness. So they started scraping out the virus in those pox and, and injecting or inoculating people in the arm with that virus. And those people would put it kind of underneath them. They put the band over it so it would spread. And then they get a, a reaction to it. They get essentially get cowpox and get a reaction to it. And then they would not get smallpox. And that's basically, I mean, smallpox is different. We were able to eradicate it because there's no... And there was no animal host for smallpox that uh, they could kind of live in outside of humans. But uh, we, we were able to get rid of smallpox that way. So, it, it, you know, Omicron was reminding me of that. I'm kind of getting hopeful that, wow, if, if this is as contagious as it is, if it's spreading like wildfire, like it, like it really is. I mean, it seems like everyone, everyone we're testing with any symptoms has it. And a few false negatives are like in one family member that where everyone else has the same symptoms and they're all positive and one person's negative. I mean, they have they have COVID, obviously, even though the test is negative. So uh, it's, it's spreading like crazy. made me think of it. What do we know, if anything, yes, because it's still early, what do we know about the level of immunity that people who get Omicron are left with? In other words, do they have well, robust immunity, or is because Omicron, if, if it is a less virulent form of the disease, are you left with a weaker amount of immunity? Oh, yeah, for Omicron, it's way too early to really know the answer to that. But in general, we know that, uh, that the, the vaccine does, because it's engineered to cause a more significant reaction, um, you know, the, the vaccine produces a better immunity than the natural infection, but both just kind of drop off over time. It's, it's confusing because there's two parts of your immune system, right? There's the, uh, the kind of the chemical part of the, the antibody, and then there's the cellular part, the T cells and the B cells, right? So B cells are memory, and they remember all these infections. And then there's two kinds of T cells, one that light up the B cell and say, hey, the be infection's here. They present the virus to the B cell, and the B cell says, oh, I remember that, and starts cranking out antibodies. And then there's the killer T cells that then once those are, once the virus is attached to something, the, T, the killer T cell goes and kills the cell. So, I mean, if, even if the antibodies drop off, there is the possibility that your body remembers it, and, and it probably does to some extent. So even if we say your antibodies have dropped off, you do have some immunity remaining to it. You know that. But it's just not as effective as the full when the antibodies are revved up and you're, and you're ready to clear that virus out. Is, is there any vaccine that produces an antibody response where, you know, a year later, two years later, you're, you're still, your system is still chock full of circulating antibodies? Or, or does this, is this the way it works all the time, that the amount of circulating antibodies goes down over time, and then you have the other part of your immune system there as well? Right, no, that's what, that's what happens all the time. It's just that some other diseases, you know, tetanus develops slower. So as you get infected with tetanus, you have more time for your body to produce those antibodies, uh, you know, kind of boost itself back up and wipe off the infection before you get sick. And, you know, the very similar, you know, you're going to have a little bit more time where these types of viruses, say COVID, like so fast that if you don't have a sick and you antibodies, you may not get really sick, it's good news for you, but you may get sick enough that you're a patient. And so you're spreading it to other people and protect your you know, the whole thing. Dr. Jim said that and I have a funny feeling that we'll be talking to you again very soon because there's always something going on with our bodies. You know, I know stuff besides COVID, but I'm forgetting them. <laughs> well, you know what? Maybe what we, I want to have you on again sometime for a COVID-free 
medical stuff. Yeah, there, are other, there are other things going on right now that affect medicine and our bodies and health and stuff. And uh, maybe we should do that. Would you want to do that? Oh, yeah. I'd love to talk would about you, something besides COVID. Would you want to do it this week? Absolutely. Let's do it. All right, Alex, let's get Dr. Jim back later in the week and do a COVID-free health and medical news segment, please. Dr. Jim, good idea. Thank you very much. We'll talk to you soon. Take care. All right, there he goes, Dr. Jim Keeney, co-director of the ER at Mission Hospital in Mission Viejo. We'll get a news update from Chris Little, and then it's a Tech Tuesday a little bit early. Rich DeMuro's on vacation, but we have Steve Greenberg, contributor to NBC's Today Show, and host of really the funnest thing that I just discovered on YouTube. It's a, a YouTube gadget game show called What the Heck is That? So we'll find out what that is, and uh, Steve will talk about the big tech developments in 2021 and what to look forward to next year as well. This is KFI AM 640, live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. The CDC has cut its recommended isolation period from 10 days to 5 days for asymptomatic people who test positive for COVID-19. Dr. Anthony Fauci says this will reduce the negative impact of people missing work. We want to get people back to the jobs, particularly those with essential jobs, to keep our society running smoothly. The CDC says people who received their booster shot do not need to quarantine if they are exposed to COVID-19, but they should wear a mask for 10 days after exposure. News brought to you by Tough Turtle Turf. Tonight's performance of Hamilton at the Pantages Theater in Hollywood has been canceled. Anyone with tickets will automatically get reimbursed within 30 days. The show has been canceled because of COVID-19 cases with the cast. Last week, shows were canceled through Christmas due to COVID-19 cases among the cast. Cedar sinai Hospital in L.A. says it is in desperate need of blood donors. We have been experiencing uh, blood shortages since really the beginning of the pandemic. Dr. Ellen Clapper says it's partly because of canceled blood drives and staff shortages. Group O blood, which is, I think most people know, is the uh, universal blood donor, uh, is always in short supply, and this year is particularly severe. But she says all blood types are needed and greatly appreciated. A family is celebrating the return of a runaway train in Rancho Cucamonga. A custom-built barbecue made to look like a train was stolen from their late father's front yard. It was already the first um, Christmas without my dad, and Christmas was my dad's favorite holiday, so it was already going to be a little rough. Um, but to come home and see the train missing definitely added to a very horrible season. Kyron Bellu says police have found the train and made an arrest. She says her family smiled when they found out the cherished heirloom was found. Her father passed away just before Thanksgiving and left her the train barbecue. He owned a catering company and centered it around the barbecue pit train. In Rancho Cucamonga, Blake Trolley, KFI News. Up to the air we go with Jeff Bob taking a look at the 60s. Oh boy, I got a major event to warn you about. Now listen up, especially if you are leaving the Long Beach Harbor, driving a rig perhaps, going north 710, and you were going to go east on the 60s. You get out to, out to the east. But don't go to the east 60. Keep on going north 7, uh, 710 up to the east 10. That'll get you where you need to be. We're circling over this now. East 60 past Atlantic only. The white lane is open. Overturn rig on its side. They're trying to move it now. It's going to be here forever. North 710 to the east 60. The parking lot. The east 60 coming out of the east LA interchange. That's top of the 710. That's not too far in distance. Find you the crisis past Atlantic. But boy, a lot of time you'll spend here. Also, get into the South Pass with the crowd. We'll go back and look at it in a minute, but North 110 around Avenue 52 is only three lanes there, and there's only the right lane open. Another multi car crash, and drivers were hurt here, so a backup from up in 43. More coming up on both of these tough drivers. Entered an accident business, Superwoman, Superlawyer.com, Jeff Bob, AFI in the sky. If you own a business and manage to keep five or more people on the payroll through the pandemic, there's a new government program that will pay you tens of thousands of dollars per employee. And this is not a loan. This is a grant. The challenge is getting your hands on this money. This is a bureaucracy. InnovationRefunds.com cuts through the red tape, helps you get the cash. They do all of the legwork. They don't charge a penny until you receive the money. And what they do is simply share a percentage of the money they get for you. 
they got my business a six-figure refund. Now, their average client gets a quarter of a million dollars. That's impressive. Go to innovationrefunds.com, click on the Qualify Me button, answer a few questions, innovationrefunds.com, it's no risk, and it certainly is high reward. Innovationrefunds.com, they help me, I'm sure they can help you. Innovationrefunds.com. Partly sunny this morning, then partly cloudy, highs in the low 50s, light chance of rain after midnight. We lead local, live from the KFI 24-hour newsroom. I'm Chris. Chris, I can watch this 10, 47, 7, 81. Sometimes when I'm hanging out with my ghetto technicians, they tell me something I never expected. Really? Like what? Most of our guys used to work for small companies before they came to work for us. I can't believe you didn't know that already. Oh, I knew that. What I didn't know is that most of them were afraid of coming to work for a big company like Gettle. They were afraid of becoming invisible, you know, like a cog in a machine. I was afraid, too. So why did you come, Zach? I came to Gettle for the same reason as all them other guys. I'm on pins and needles. I came because you don't take shortcuts. Good technicians always want to work for someone who believes in doing things the right way, not the easy way. I appreciate you saying that, Zach, and we appreciate you giving us the time to do the job right, even after we've already quoted a price, and all them extra hours coming out of your pocket. If I didn't do things the right way, my dad would slap me on the back of my head, and he would fit. And you ain't never make none of us feel invisible either. G-O-E, P-T-L. We'll keep you cool, but it's hard to spell. Get here today for the Ford year-end sell-a-thon and get great holiday deals. Like 0% for 60 months plus 2,500 bonus cash on the 2021 Ford Escape, Edge, Explorer, and the rugged Ford Ranger. And don't forget the 2021 Ford F-150. Get it with 0% for 60 months plus 2,500 bonus cash. Hurry, you don't want to miss the Ford year-end sell-a-thon. Not all buyers qualify for Ford Credit 0% APR financing for 50 months at 1667 per month for $1,000 finance. Example 0% down. Offers valid 1223 through 1322. See dealer for details. Are you in need of new tires? Buy four Cooper tires and score up to four free LA Kings tickets. Find out how and at which locations you can score this deal by visiting lakings.com slash Cooper Tires. Living with someone who tested positive for COVID-19 in the past five days? Those 18 and over who are not vaccinated may be able to take part in a clinical trial or possible medication to prevent COVID-19. Participants will receive study-related care at no cost. To learn more, visit covidmoveahead.com. Sponsored by Mark. Beautiful home landscape and residential turf lawn. Go to tuckturtleturf.com. <laughs> KFI AM 640. The iHeart Radio station. 24 hour news. More stimulating talk. KFI AM 640 live everywhere on the iHeart Radio app. Good morning to Bill Handel's show. Bill on vacation this week. It's Tuesday. And we normally have Tech Tuesday on Tuesday at 8 o'clock with Rich Demuro from KTLA. He is on vacation. We're doing it a little bit early, and I am so pleased to have as a special guest, Steve Greenberg is here, award-winning author, TV personality, regular contributor on Tech to NBC's Today Show, and the host of my new favorite thing on YouTube. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure. Thank you for that introduction. I really appreciate that. Yes, I am the host of What the Heck Is That? So tell us how uh, the YouTube Gadget Game Show, What the Heck Is That, works. Well, it's really simple. So like the old uh, I've got a secret or what's my line sort of each chart tank. I have, I see a trillion really interesting little gadgets that you look at and you can't think what they are. I have a panel of hopefully 20 experts who are trying to use yes or no questions to guess the identity of that mystery gadget. Of course, you can play along at home. It's on YouTube. And of course, you can go to gadgetgameshow.com and click on the YouTube link. You go right to it. I did two episodes that are sort of like specials, which are just uh, kind of showing some holiday gift ideas. So if you scroll back, you'll see uh, the game show actually in play. And we've got four more episodes that are going to be loaded up in the next week or so. So it's, it's, there's a lot to watch. About 40 some episodes have been loaded already. A poster. It's fantastic. It's a lot of fun. And I always like learning what it is. 
because they, exactly. you get to learn about all these interesting ideas that somebody had to think of and have made and that you can have in your life. So speaking of that, yes. do you want to go over some of the biggest uh, or best texts of 2021 as the year winds down? It, it was a weird year, of course, but it didn't stop tech from being even more innovative. I mean, I think technology and inventors, uh, scientists almost like an obstacle because it gives them you know, another problem to solve. So, of course, there were a lot in 2021, so we've had a million different kinds of sanitizing gadgets that came out. And of course, messenger RNA technology, which is the, the, how we came up with the, the Pfizer and the Moderna vaccines. Uh, that, of course, is a huge tech story. You can't ignore it. TikTok, the algorithm that is before you to make it go from a, a low-end social media to the number one social media because, again, this algorithm is so ingenious that it, it really kind of spreads and, and makes a, a, a nobody one day uh, seen by millions the next. That's also up there. Other gadgets, the Samsung uh, Z flip phone, which is not your dad's old flip phone. It's not like you flip it open, there's a little screen and then a keyboard. You flip it open and it turns into a six-inch, you know, big screen key, uh, phone for about a thousand bucks. That was very hot. And, and probably something that works is where we should mention for a little bit are NFT, that whole uh, non-fungible token, those, those digital one-of-a-kind that they actually created a video frame for them and some sold for as much as 69 million. That was also an offshoot of, I think, the craziness of our times right now. Hey, see, now, I, I want to go back to your flip phone. Yeah. Which, I guess, foldable phone. Right. It's a foldable phone. Um, I'm going to ask this because you're the tech guy. So yeah. you see all kinds of tech. You use all kinds of tech. I'm going to ask it this way. A phone that you fold and then you can unfold it and the entire inside of the phone is a screen. Why? Correct. Why? What? Well, you, you have the advantage of, I think it's an easy sell. You have the advantage of a large screen, which means you get to see your videos and see your FaceTime or whatnot on a big screen. But when you fold it in half, it doesn't take as much room in your pocket. So it's easier to afford, you know, it makes it much more affordable, yet you don't have, you're not sacrificing the size of the screen for, for making it fold, foldable and portable. Uh, that's one thing. I think, oops, you see, isn't that such a love technology and everything happens at one time like that? Well, I mean, also, uh, LG came up with this C1 roll-up seat, so it looks like a, like a, cabinet and then out of it rolls out a it's basically a flat screen tv that doesn't take up any space so you're not using it it just looks like a piece of furniture and then when you push a button it rolls out and puts the big screen up on the wall again it's all because of the technology that allows for these these foldable screens this, this material that isn't solid anymore that can be our you know, the, the next our next LED device. I mean, I actually went to a fashion show a couple of years ago where the, the, the models were wearing clothing that was made from the this, this same fabric of a screen. So it was a video screen that was wearable. And I think that's what we're looking at in the not too distant future. How does it, I guess I recall when maybe it was the first foldable phone was announced and then I, I have a vague memory of a series of articles, people saying, oh, it's terrible, and it breaks all the time, and it's not ready for prime time. Now, this Samsung phone you mentioned, that's not it's that the, original phone that had all the problems, is it? No, no. In fact, it, so there were other brands that came out with something similar, and as you mentioned, they had issues. But there was, again, you know, the pioneers always get shot. Uh, the, the, the folks that follow the pioneers, I mean, I am certain that Apple is working on a phone that's similar to the Samsung phone that it will launch in the next year or two. So but they want to see all the problems. They want to see how they can improve upon it. So they let the other guys go first. Samsung is following in the footsteps of some others that tried doing it. But they, they're, I, I have to say that their uh, Z Flip is very successful. And the price point was good, too. They kept it to just under $1,000, which made it very mainstream friendly. And I think when it's unfolded, it's a... 6.7 inch display, so it's a pretty decent display, uh, and then you just fold it in half, so there's like a, a 3 inch by 3 inch uh, device that goes in your pocket. How, how thick is it when it's folded up? 
I think it, it's under a half inch, but I think darn close to a half inch, you know, it's around a half inch. So that's amazing then. It's actually incredible, and it's out now, uh, and I mean, you're going to see a lot of other companies do the same thing. This whole, you know, the high concept of a screen that is foldable and, is, and doesn't break when you fold it is going to filter into a whole bunch of different aspects of our life. That's certainly a lot of All right. Uh, we're going to get a news update from Chris Little. And okay. uh, when we come back, Steve, <laughs> can we, let's now start looking ahead. And I've got lots of things. Good. What you see on the horizon for next year in tech. Steve Greenberg is here, contributor to NBA, uh, NBC's Today Show, host of the YouTube Gadget Game Show, what the heck is that? And also you have uh, your website, SteveGreenberg.tv. And more with Steve right. in a moment on KFI AM 640, live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. <laughs> Steve might be interested in this. Ozzy Osbourne is getting into the NFT world. The rocker is launching his own line titled CryptoBat. The collection will feature 9,666 non-fungible tokens. U.S. government figures show the Omicron variant continues to account for a growing portion of new coronavirus infections in the country. Omicron accounted for 59% of new cases in the U.S. for the week ending December 25th. That's up from 23% the previous week. The top U.S. infectious disease expert, Dr. Anthony Fauci, says the nation should consider a vaccination mandate for domestic air travel. We'll take a look at the drive on the 605 next. If you want it on your house, uh, moving, downsizing, you have financial issues, maybe you inherited, so you list it with a broker, and that means hours of cleaning and painting and repairing and paying they see. So let me give you another way of doing that. You get a fair price without any of that. The buyer never walks through your house, there's never an appraisal, no commission, and you can get paid in cash within 10 days or less if you need it. That's directbuyers.com. That's the company that Janet and Matt, brother and sister, own, and I love the way they do business. They'll never lowball you. They're just on the foot. And let me tell you, a lot of schmucks in this industry, and that's not what they are. They'll give you an honest, no-obligation offer, and even offer a $15,000 cash advance before closing. Go to directbuyers.com. That's directbuyers.com. Call 844-242-SELL. 844-242-SELL. Directbuyers.com. The new Staples Connect will change the way you think about Staples. Explore the world of possible with new small business services and innovative tools to work and learn from anywhere. Now open at 5665 West Wilshire, one block east of the La Brea Tar Pit. Learn more at staplesconnect.com slash LA. Sunny this morning and partly cloudy later. Highs in the low to mid 50s. This report brought to you by Staples Stores. From the Southern California Toyota Dealers Traffic Center, we make it easy. Let's take a look at the 605. Well, here's some tough traffic business this morning. Now, this is coming through Pico Rivera, uh, Crossing Avenue as it goes underneath the 605. It was a terrible early morning crash there. It is closed completely in between Pioneer and Pasadena. Again, that's as, as it goes under the 605. Now, 605 itself is in fine shape, actually, in between the 60 and the I-5, no problems there. But uh, again, getting off, you can only go to eastbound. So I think you can't go westbound towards New York. So uh, keep that in mind. Another huge problem in East LA. East 60 past Atlantic. Only the right lane is open. A rig on its side. They're trying to deal with it now. East 60 back up to 710. North 710 to the East 60. If you're coming up right now, especially driving a rig north on the 710, just keep going up to the East 10. Take that to the east, it's wide up and all the rest around Ontario. No problems there. And more problems on northbound Arroyo Seco. More on that coming up. Injured in an accident, visit Superwoman, superlawyer.com. Jeff Barr, KFI in the sky. This report is sponsored by Compassion International. Compassion International has a network of over 300 church partners in Haiti, poised to bring critical relief to those suffering because of the recent earthquake. Make your $40 one-time gift now by texting the keyword radio to 97646. Hey, Mario Lopez here, and unfortunately, COVID cases and new variants are on the rise. Yeah, again. Yeah. So, if you're experiencing symptoms, if you group them traveled, or you're planning on traveling for the holidays, get a no-cost of patient COVID test at covidclinic.org. They have locations throughout the state with rapid result testing also available. Just visit covidclinic.org and find a location near you. It is super easy. It is fast. That's covidclinic.org. 
Time has a lot to celebrate this holiday season, but COVID-19 hasn't gone away. So let's make sure to keep our celebration safer by following these tips. Get back to to protect loved ones, and get a booster to keep your immunity strong. Wear a mask in all covered indoor settings, and if possible, keep gathering small, short, and outdoors if you're uncertain where everyone's vaccine can be. Bring on the spirit safety this year. Find a vaccine near you at myturn.ca.gov. Brought to you by the California Department of Public Health. Let me tell you about Sunday. All right, my friends, it's Sunday. They can sell your own files with no repairs, no hassle of showing, realtors, cleaning, or making upgrades. Sunday, they are the best, right? And they have free to walk for cash offer. They're going to take the coffee, do a 3D walkthrough, and the package all the property details up, send it to thousands of local investors. And then over the next week, the average homeowner receives 12 offers on their property. It's like a mini bidding war going on your property. It's quick and easy. And it's closed and it's quick to 10 days. That means you can be out before Christmas. Maybe book to Boise, Idaho, right? By a huge ranch up there. You may also be eligible for a $10,000 cash advance. So let's phone them up. 825 offer. 825 offer for the website. It's Sunday.com. S-U-N-D-A-E dot com. Send us California license real estate broker DRLS number 0208898. The holidays are the most wonderful time of the year, but they can also be the most stressful. And with the threat of COVID-19 still looming, emotions are high and can be overwhelming. Cal Hope can help with free emotional support for you and your loved ones this holiday season. Call 833-317-4673 or live chat at calhope.org today. This is Ken Goodrich of Gettle, and I want you to save money and save your heating and cooling system. The heat pump is basically just an air conditioner running backwards. Instead of pumping cold air into the home and hot air outdoors like it does in the summer, a heat pump reverses that process during the winter. But that means your air conditioner is running round the clock, 365 days a year. And with heat pumps, big, expensive problems begin as small, affordable problems that were ignored for way too long. Routine maintenance will keep your heat pump happily doing its job long after everyone else is laid down and died. Let Gettle rejuvenate your heat pump and it will say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you 24 hours a day. Just $129. No one knows heat pumps like Gettle. G-O-E-T-T-L. It'll keep you cool when it's hard to stop. It's all right now, okay? If holiday music turns your joy all the way up to 10, then Sirius XM is your home over the holidays. From traditional and country to pop, soul, and so much more, Sirius XM has exclusive holiday channels dedicated to the music that makes your season bright. Listen in the car on the way to the party or in the living room as you're wrapping presents. Visit SiriusXM.com slash listen holiday for how to start listening. Howard 2021 iHeart Radio Music Festival. The ultimate once-in-a-lifetime music event is coming to the CW. The biggest superstars in music finally step back on stage. Coldplay, Billy Island, Dua Lipa, J. Cole, Khalid, Darius Walker, Cheap Trick, Journey, and more. Music Festival. Oh. Yeah. One stage, one television network. Thursday night at 8 p.m. Saturday morning at 12.30 on the ECLA 5, the CW. Hey, Neil Tavegra, to see if your baking powder is still working, put a teaspoon in a half cup of hot water. If it bubbles, bake away. The baking soda, put a spoonful in a bowl with a splash of acid like...